Hello, Brick Dark here. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO Super Mario Wamps Lava Trouble, which includes two characters, 133 pieces, and retails for $20 in the United States. Do keep in mind that LEGO Mario is not included with this set, he only comes in the $60 starter set. So here is Womp. He is exclusive to this set, and I really like how they were able to build him using not a lot of pieces. Do you have this exclusive printed front tile, which really illustrates Womp's ugly look? You also have these arms, which are on mini ball joints, so you can move them around. Can't move the feet though, and there's the interactive tile on the back, which is exclusive to the set. If you take Mario and you jump on him five times, I think. You get a bunch of coins. That's really cool. And I also find it really interesting because in the actual 3D Mario games, Womp, when he jumps over like this, has an X on the back where you jump or ground pound. So that's pretty cool. That's about it for Womp, though. Also included is a lava bubble. This exact build and character comes in the Bowser's Castle set as well as, I think, the Thwomp set. So it's not a really hard character to get, but this is the cheapest way to get it. On the back, interestingly enough, if you jump on it, you do get a coin, despite the fact that you can't really jump on these things in-game. It's not too big of a deal, but it is kind of interesting. Also exclusive to this set is the P-Switch, which I'm not entirely sure how this works, but when Mario jumps on it, it plays the P-Switch music, and I think if you move around, it'll pick up random coins. I'm not too sure really how it works but it's kind of an interesting thing to have like i've gotten coins from it before i'm not entirely sure how it works maybe you need to have the set underneath it but it's a pretty cool exclusive part as for the build of this set it, you do get a nice castle theming like you do have these parts which have some nice flames you also get some more of these bigger red tiles, the, the new Mario tiles. You also get this shell without any printing, and that's really cool, and that ties into a play feature that we'll take a look at in a second. You do have this part that moves along that also interacts with Mario. There's not a whole lot else going on with this build, but a big part of it is the LEGO Mario interactivity. So, starting from the beginning, you would have this part, move him along, try and get coins, and then you get a bunch of coins, that's really cool, I like those features. You'd knock Womp over, get a bunch of coins, activate the P-switch, try and move around a bit, you can see I'm actually getting coins this time and I'm not entirely sure why. Really don't know how this works, but it's still pretty cool. Then there's something I didn't even realize until I started playing with this. But you put Mario on here, and using the shell, he knocks the lava bubble up off. So you can jump on the lava bubble, and boom, you get a coin. And that offers a lot of fun for just such a small $20 set. You will need Mar Lego Mario for this, but. Still, it offers a lot of fun and replayability. See how long you can keep Mario going on this, or how many coins you can get from the P-Switch. It's really cool. box for this is that longer $20 box size that has the thumb tag at the side, and it shows you all the interactive tiles of this set, which I kind of wish they kept some of them secret, but it's not a big deal. The instructions are non-existent, this is literally just a startup guide, which I, if I'm being honest, we don't need this. Like, if you have the Lego Mario thing, that, okay, that is understandable, that needs its own startup guide because you need to put the batteries in Mario, and if we get a Lego Luigi, like I think what might happen in 2021, you'd need that startup guide to put the batteries in, but this is just a waste of paper at this point. The, it tells you the exact same instructions in the app, so, I don't know, and maybe just to have a bit of paper, it's not that much paper, but still, it is a waste of paper. So overall, the Womp's Lava Trouble is a great small expansion if you want to expand the starter course with some castle and lava things. You get the exclusive Womp, who looks really good in LEGO, 
probably because he's really blocky to begin with, so it's not that hard to translate him into Lego. You also get the Lava Mobile, which actually looks really good. Getting the exclusive piece, which is nice, as well as these pieces in grey. They don't come in too many sets. And as well as to get those bigger lava pieces in these pieces in red is nice as well, as well as the shell. So I would definitely recommend this set. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. This may not be for everyone, especially if you don't have a big attachment to Womp, but if you've liked the 3D Mario games, which I'd say this is more in line with than a 2D Mario game, because it is actually three-dimensional this time, I'd say definitely pick this up if you're interested in a Lego Mario system. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.